Well, unfortunately, Comtois does not know how to put English translations in the game, so we're gonna have to read the Korean one. I'll translate it with the translator, but yeah, we're reviewing the Fairy Queen skills, right? I mean, the font is super small, but that's just what we have to do, right? So, first skill, uh, I haven't screenshotted the first skill, but first skill is, like, it doesn't have any effect, 165 multiplier as per usual. First skill, uh, 24 second cooldown for mana, it restores the stamina of an ally target and removes all debilitating effects, the amount of recovery is proportional to your maximum health. So, a single target cleanse, a single target full cleanse, and it will also heal for 55.1% of her maximum HP. Not sure, I mean it's 4 mana, I don't know. 4 mana is a bit much for me. Then the second skill, uh, 30 second cooldown 5 mana, destroys the health of nearby allies if all team members are alive. Wait, destroys the health? Okay. Increases attack power to allies within range and resurrects one of the team summons if they die. The amount of recovery is proportional to your maximum HP. Okay, so she heals everyone for 32.2% of her max HP if everyone is alive. And also increases attack power by 2 levels for 20 seconds if everyone is alive. Oh, no, 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 okay. Oh, it regens HP, regardless, for everyone. If everyone is alive, everyone gets a uh, level 2 attack up. But if not everyone is alive, then she will revive one with 24% HP. That is such a garbage skill. 5 mana on that? Wait, no, is it garbage? That looks very underwhelming. That looks very, very underwhelming for me, I don't know. If it was revive, heal, and attack up, regardless of any conditions, sure. I don't know, I don't know. I am not a big fan of that. Potentially a skip for me. And then the ultimate, so it's... Okay, restores the health of nearby allies by 48.3%, increases attack power, and revives two units. The amount of recovery is proportional to your maximum HP. So 48% heal, Level 4 attack up for 20 seconds and 2 revives with 24% HP. I don't know, I, I don't like her skills. I do not like her skills personally. But we'll see, we'll see. I think it's a bit early to judge. Like, to me she looks... Uh, the cool thing about them is most of these units look pretty basic because their skill descriptions aren't long for what I've seen. But, I don't know, it's just a pure healer, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so very quickly let's just see her skills. Uh, the first skill, so that's a single target heal, right? Well, I mean it's a single target heal, so there's not much to look, but let's say this is the support one that they provide, uh, it has like 200k power. Unfortunately I cannot see, oh my god, look at the artifacts. Why does the Sardian have a gun? Okay, more on that later. Wait, so 87k heal. Yeah, the multipliers are good, definitely. Second skill. Why well, don't mind the range? I do not mind the range actually. The range is okay, the range is pretty good at least. The range is pretty good at least. Boom, go for that. Ooh! Wait, the her, her healing skills with attack, doesn't it? How much healing do you do? 20 no, 28k, that's not a lot of healing. Um, hmm. I like the attack buff, but I'm not a big fan of the condition for it, right? So, okay, you fight, fight, at the science getting hit, yeah? You go for this guy, you accidentally kill him. Oh no, he has oblivion. Oh. And then you just choose him up, right? Oh no! Um, not a big fan, not a big fan. We'll see. And if you want to get Chronicles items cheaper and support the channel, make sure to use the affiliate link in the pinned comment below. Okay, now the water one. So basic attack, nothing special. Uh, first skill, 
24 seconds for mana, the stores the stamina of an ally and removes all debilitating effects, the amount of the... Oh, so the exact same as the fire one, full single target cleanse and 55.1% max HP heal, not bad, not bad. Then the second skill, Fady Blessing, 30 seconds and 5 mana, again. Uh, that covers the health of the target with the lowest current health ratio oh, ratio among nearby allies, reduces the skill cooldown of team summoners within the range and increases the team summoners ultimate gauge. The amount of the cover is proportional to your maximum HP. Okay. 55% maximum health heal, but that is the single target heal. Minion skill cooldown reduced by 40%. So monster cooldowns reduced by 40%. Okay, who's the best cooldown reducer currently? I don't know, right? And she has 40% as well on 4 mana, right? And ultimate gauge increased by 15%. So she's literally just a baby Eleonora. Except worse. Way worse. Because she does not reduce summoner cooldowns. Yeah, mm, I don't know. Again, not a big fan of it. If the heal was AoE, sure, but single target heal? Nah. Okay, and this is the passive. I, I'm, I'm corrupted, but I, because I don't know why it didn't translate previously. But yeah, the passive seems to be a continuous effect. Uh, if your health exceeds a certain percentage, the amount of recovery given increases. Ooh. Additionally, it suppresses the skill cooldown reduction effect and ultimate gauge increase effect of team members other than yourself. Okay, wait, so when your health is over 70%, you do 20% more healing? Sure. Suppresses skill cooldown reduction effect by 100% and suppresses the ultimate gauge increase effect by 100%. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, additionally, it suppresses the skill cooldown reduction effect and ultimate of team members other than yourself. Wait. She literally does that on this. Wait. So she does that on the second skill and then. Oh! Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, does that mean that only she can cast these effects? So she is actually a counter to all of the skill cooldown increases. Like if she's on the field, only she can reduce cooldowns, no one else. And only she can give ultimate gauge and no one else. Is that what they are saying? Because otherwise, this skill wouldn't make sense. Because what's the point of blocking all of that if you are doing it yourself? That could be it. Oh, that's a cool mechanic, you know? That is a cool mechanic. But it's very situational. Again, like, we have all, we already have a lot of cooldown increase encounters. I don't know why they're pushing for even more of those. Like, yes, Eleonore is the problem. You can just nerf Eleonore instead of creating 17 different units. But that could be a cool, I'll give it that. It's a cool mechanic. It feels like a cool mechanic if that's how it works, yeah? And then the ultimate that covers the health of the target with the lowest current HP ratio among nearby allies. Wow, even on an ultimate you couldn't give her an AoE heal. Impressive. Uh, this is the skill cooldown of team summoners within the range. Team summoners I think means monsters. Um, and increases the team summoners mana. The amount of the recovery is proportional to maximum HP. Okay, so 80% healing. 80% skill cooldown reduction for your monsters. And... Increase mana by 5! Five. 5 mana gain! Just like that, from the ultimate. That's pretty good. That's pretty good! I don't mind that ultimate. I wish the healing was a bit better, but... 80% cooldown, that's pretty much instantly all of the skills being ready. That's pretty good. I don't mind the ultimate, I don't mind the ultimate. I'm a little bit worried about this being only a single target heal and also 5 mana. I don't know. We'll see how it works out. De definitely better than the fire one. Definitely impressed me better than the fire one. I'll say that. Okay, now the fire one. Oh, I mean the water one. So this one is a single target heal again, right? Oh, this time she healed way more. Potentially her runes are a bit better here. 
and her second skill, uh, boom. Wait, what does she do? <laughs> Wait, the skill, skill range is good, skill range is good. Hmm. Okay, attack us a bit, so I'm gonna heal up. Or, I'm, I guess not, I'm just frozen. Yeah, wow. Hmm, I don't know, I don't know. The range is good, the range is good, I'll take that. Okay, and now the win fairy. I think this one had like a cool passive, right? So, we'll see. Basic attack, a little bit higher multiplier this time, 200. But after that, nothing special. First skill, uh, 26 seconds for mana, attacks the enemies within range to remove immunity and then apply suppression. Oh, I already like that. Nice. So AOE immunity the move, 685% multiplier and level 2 suppression for 16 seconds. I mean the font is so small, I'm sorry if you can't see it, but that's just how the translator works. I, I'm not even sure how to increase it, yeah? Blame Comptos, not me. Blame Comptos for not putting English translations in, right? <laughs> Second skill, 32 seconds 5 mana, restores the stamina of nearby allies and removes two strengthening effects from enemies within the range. The amount of recovery is proportional to your attack power. Okay, so two strips from everyone and 500% attack multiplier. Oh, no, 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 that's healing, 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 healing. So she's like Soha. She's like Soha. The water, uh, what she called? Fox. Nine tail fox, right? Remove two buffs on everyone and 500% of attack healing. So just healing skills with attack instead of HP. Five mana though? I don't know. Then the passive. When an enemy uses a cooldown reduction effect, your skill cooldowns is reduced. This passive skill applies only to Arena and Siege. Okay, so minion skill cooldown reduced. By, so whenever someone uses cooldown reducing effects, her cooldowns get reduced by 10%. That is absolutely garbage. This is the worst unit I've ever seen. What? Wait, that this makes no sense. No, 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 no. This is so garbage. 10%? Wait, them wait, nah, this has to be a joke. This is so bad. 10%, you don't even block their removal. I would understand if you work like Leo or whatever, or the water one where you actually block the reduction of other. This is garbage. If this is correct, this is just garbage. Strip on five mana? Like, this skill is okay-ish, I guess, because the press is kind of cool in some situations, right? No, no, what is this? An this might be another Beast Rider where they make a garbage unit and then they over buff it to hell, I don't know. Ultimate, attacks enemies within range to remove all buffs and then apply suppression. So 1.3, 1.371% attack multiplier on the attack, full strip. Level 4 suppression for 20 seconds. Ultimate is okay, ultimate is okay. Yo, is this passive a joke? Nah, I, I don't even want to review it anymore. This is such a bad skill. We're moving on, we're moving on. Okay, and now the win one. They even put Trinity as the main enemy because this unit is so weak you can't be beat anything else. But yeah, uh, let's check. I think she has an AoE, uh, like silence or whatever, right? Okay, so I'm gonna group everyone up, and boom. Nah, that range is a joke. I'm so, nah, that range is a joke. The heal healing is good, healing is good. What is that? Wait, let me just kill these. I'll use the first kill again. Nah, are you kidding? Come to us, are you joking with me there? Okay, buff up. She strips, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, does she strip everything or just immunity? Wait, does she only strip immunity? I don't remember. That range is so sad though. That range is so sad. I don't think she strips everything because look at that, she's missing everything. She strip does she strip immunity only? Yeah, she strips immunity only. Yeah, um, yikes. 
Yikes, all I'm gonna say. Yikes. Okay, come to us, please. Light and dark ones. We are, for once we are actually getting the light and dark units, so please make them decent at least, right? Okay, light fairy, basic attack 165, nothing special. First skill, 24 seconds, 4 mana. It destroys the stamina of an ally target and removes all debilitating effects, the amount of recovery. Okay, so single target lands 55 heal, the same as the fire and the water ones. Okay, good start, good start, good start. Second skill, fairy blessing, 6 mana! 6 mana, 36 seconds. It restores the stamina of nearby allies, increases attack power and grants immunity. The amount of recovery is proportional to your maximum HP. 32% AoE heal based on her max HP, attack power level 2 for 14 seconds, immunity for 14 seconds. It's not, it's like it's a good skill. Immunity and attack power is very powerful. But 6 mana. 6 mana, okay, so that means you can use the skill every 18 seconds. And the buffs last for 14 seconds. Uh, you know what? Not bad, actually. You know what? Not bad, actually. Not bad, actually. I'll take it. I'll take it. After what I've seen with the first three, I'll take it. Honestly, so far is the best one, definitely. And now the ultimate. Again, zoomed in because translation won't work. The stores the stamina of nearby allies, increases dark power, and grants immunity. So, same as the second skill, the healing is for the 8% max HP, level 4 attack power, immunity for 20 seconds. You know what? Very simple unit, I'll take it. Good second skill, good second skill. A bit expensive, but I kinda understand it because there is attack, there is healing, like compared to something like uh, any other immunity buff. Something like, let's say, Shushu or Wusa, right? They have immunity, they are sort of almost able, well, Shushu is able to keep it permanently. Wusa needs like a second thing, but. He gets a shield, he does not get a heal, and on top of that, she gets attack power as well, so... Yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it, I think that's a good skill. I think the Light Fady is definitely the winner out of the four we have in the Russo side. But now, it's time for the Dark One. Okay, the Dark One. This one we will be getting... Possibly the fastest, right? I'm not sure, maybe we'll get the regular ones faster, but this one... We should be getting it like good 10 days. So, basic attack, 200%. Other than that, nothing special. Whoa, I just did something pretty bad. Is it still working? Can you still see the screen? Yes, you can, okay. So, first skill, 26 seconds, 4 mana. Attacks the enemies within the range, inflicting silence with a certain probability and reducing the enemy's ultimate gauge. 685 multiplier. AoE attack, by the way. 685 multiplier, 82% chance for silence for 7 seconds. Sure. Ultimate gauge reduced by 20%. Ah, uh, situational, I guess. Not too bad. Seems like this one will be mostly aimed at hitting summoners, right? Because the ultimate gauge mostly. We'll see. Not, not, not too horrible, I guess. Second skill, 32 seconds, 5 mana. Okay, restores the stamina of nearby allies and removes two strengthening effects from enemies within the range. The amount of recovery is... Wait. 500% attack-based healing and strip two buffs. Isn't that the same as the... Which one was it? Which one was it? Which one was it? Was it the fire or the wind one? I think it was the wind one, right? Again, this... So like the same skill, AoE strip for 2 buffs and healing for 5%, 500% of her attack power. No, 5 mana, 5 mana for that. Mm, okay, the passive better make it up for us. Oh my god, again, why is it doing this? Okay, the passive, 24 second cooldown. When a teammate health falls below a certain percentage, Fady's blessing is used, and that is her second skill. The passive skill applies on only to Arena and Siege. Okay, so whenever a teammate gets below 50%, she will use the second skill for free. <laughs> Lads, I don't know. I don't know. The ultimate. 
Okay, attacks enemies within range, inflicting silence with a certain probability and reducing the enemy's summoner ultimate rate. So, just an improved first skill, it looks like. 1371% of attack multiplier, 90% chance for silence for 8 seconds, and ultimate gauge reduced by 50%. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, these are just, to me, to me, I don't know, you might be, I'm not a great player in PvP, right? So I don't know much about what is meta, what is not meta. These look so bad. These look so, these, I'll, I will say it, I will say it. These look worse than post-nerf Beast Riders. Genuinely. Like, these are so bad. They would be okay if their mana wasn't so high. Like, a strip and a heal. Soha has the same thing on 4 mana. And I would argue her heal is even better because it scales with max HP, which means she will not die as fast. Her, her heal scales with attack power. And I think most of her heals are scaled with attack power, like the wind one, right? Why is this 5 mana? This is not a good skill for 5 mana. This one, I can see it being used, but again, 4 mana, it's a bit... Unless their range is like gonna cover the whole arena, I don't see them being good, right? I don't know. A, a bit of a yikes for me, yeah? Like, honestly, I, I was saving Mystical Scrolls. I don't think I even want to summon any of them. They just don't seem that good. They just don't seem that good. Hopefully, they get some sort of a tweak. I don't know. We'll see how they perform in Korea. But, yeah, not impressed. Not at all, actually. Not at all. Light one. Light one. I'm looking forward to the light one. It's an expensive skill, but that skill is super good. Like, light one, second skill. Apart from that, I'm not excited about any of these, generally. First of all, the skills don't look good. Second of all, not my playstyle. I like very aggressive playstyle. Going for the summoner, going for AoE attacks, all of that. So, just not a unit for me personally, yeah? But yeah, hope you enjoyed. I will cover the patch in like a good hour. And I will potentially even stream the Korean patch live as well. So, we'll see. Yeah, that's about it. And peace.